I'm Gary Morgan, and I'm the principal at the Keeney Elementary School. Well, since uh, um, we started on our um, journey towards becoming developmentally responsive school, uh, we've seen, um, I think, pretty significant changes within our school. Uh, one of the most obvious and the one that uh, people who walk into the school not knowing anything about us notice is how calm and quiet the school is um, and that um, they are welcomed by um, students and staff alike quickly um, and feel very comfortable that because they're here. So that's one of the more obvious pieces. I think one of the less obvious and more direct to the school is that we see children who are happier, we see children who are more regulated, um, children who um, are growing in terms of their ability to uh, recognize their own emotions and then to deal with them in um, more uh, productive, effective ways. So in doing so, what we're, what we're observing is that the kids um, are more responsive to the adults and the adults are more responsive to the kids. Well, once we got away from that paradigm of um, a child's behavior is a problem and the adult's role is to correct it, the data we have collected, um, uh, first of all, the number of aggressive or violent incidents in the school. Um, the year I got here uh, five years ago, we had 73 violent incidents within the school that year. Last year we had seven. This year we've had one. And this is now the end of November. So what it's showing us is that our students are much more capable of handling their emotions. And more importantly, that the adults are understanding the behavior in a different light, different paradigm that allows the child to um, regulate much quicker and come back to a place where they're able to cope. So we, the data does show that um, from a behavior point of view, um, children are more regulated. The data is showing us that the incidence of violence has dropped significantly. The incidence, when I say incidence of violence, that refers to incidents where either other children are being hurt or an adult is being um, hurt. Um, or the child's being hurt. Um, so we've seen that dramatically drop. That doesn't mean it's zero, but it's certainly a dramatic drop from what there was. The other piece we're seeing um, through surveying of students is that uh, they feel more attached to the school. They feel more attached to the adults in the school. Uh, they feel, generally feel safer. Um, and um, that's all very positive. Interestingly enough, because you did ask about the academics, um, we find that um, through the surveys again, student perception of themselves as effective learners has increased dramatically. So in the survey, they're asked subjective questions about their own perceptions of their learning. And what we've seen since we've moved forward is their perception of themselves as learners has increased. So that bodes well to them moving forward and being more successful academically in the future. A child who is experiencing frustration um, will move towards anger and move towards aggression. Um, that's a very typical pattern. Um, we all do that, and I think everyone who listens to this will, can remember an experience probably not that long ago where something has triggered them and they have a reaction to it that's very aggressive. As adults, we've developed the front part of our brain very well, at least we hope we have, and we're able to control that um, level of aggression so it's more acceptable, um, and or it's very short-lived and we can get a hold of ourselves again. Um, for a child, they haven't developed that part of the brain yet, and that's the developmental process. 
So when we're talking about regulation, what we're talking about is someone who's triggered from whatever reason, whether it's frustration over a math problem or whether it's a relationship, piece of relationship that they're struggling with um, or they are hungry. Uh, there can be many things that will trigger a child. And when the adult sees that the child is unable to meet um, the expectation in that moment, Instead of getting into that power struggle over do it or don't, the adult understanding that their role now is to help that child get back to a place where they can use um, that front part of their brain, that executive functioning, then um, they regulate. So we here have a mantra, a mantra in which we, we say the first thing we do when we're working with a child who escalates, who gets upset is to regulate the child. To regulate means to listen, to be reflective, to um, look for ways in which we can help them bring themselves down uh, physiologically, emotionally. And that may be go for a walk, it may be distracting them with a, a game or an activity, um, but to get them to a point where they're then allowed to use that front part of the brain, that executive functioning, to come back to a rational place. So around our school you'll see posters and they're in every classroom and they're in the hallways, regulate, relate, reason. And that's the steps we take. Yeah. Um, so the first thing we do is we don't talk about the issue, we don't problem solve, we don't tell them what they should and shouldn't be doing. What we do is help them get to a place where they feel safe. Um, so they feel connected with us, with back in the environment, and then, only then, when they've got all of their reasoning power back, do we problem solve about the issue and move forward. Um, for a long time we have talked about why and how important a relationship is to working with children and that it's such an important piece. But when we got caught in power struggles with children and um, for decades we've been telling people don't get caught in power struggles but when the adult needed had this need for that child to do what they asked in that moment it set up a power struggle so when we get away from that idea that we have to have compliance immediately and got into if they're not complying what is it it's in the bar what's the barrier what's in their way um, we changed the entire dynamic of how adults and children responded and as a result we gave children an opportunity to grow and learn about their own behaviors and more importantly their own emotions and how that affects them.